So in this segment, we're going to be talking about Boris Johnson kind of annoyed at the media for not pointing out his kind of successes, I guess, um, amongst other things, and saying that it's the media's fault because they keep pointing out his mistakes. And people got annoyed about that, just hearing endlessly about his mistakes because he hasn't actually done a lot. Um, in fact, I don't think the um, the money that's meant to be paid out to people to help with energy bills has even been paid out yet. I think that'll be in um, July, so maybe when you watch this video. So if you watch this clip from the uh, Telegraph... In good times and in bad, you have to think about the criticisms that you get and you have to recognise that you... That People inevitably, when you're the head of a government that's taking country through uh, a, a big inflationary price spike caused by uh, the increasing cost of energy, people are frustrated. People are at the, at the filling up their cars and, and, and cursing uh, as, as they do so. I understand that. No, you we don't, bro, because fuel prices are ridiculous right now and there's more you can do. There's a lot more you can do, but you choose not to. And that's a huge problem. And people get that. You know, you cut fuel duty by five pence, and in the end, the petrol, um, you know, petrol stations, the companies just profited the money because that's what always happens when you do things like fuel duty cuts and VAT cuts. You have to go a lot further than that. We have to help them, and you know, I understand people's frustration. For a long time, people were hearing not enough about the things that really matter to them far too much about. But the criticism was stuff. about you, sir. That's so people were people heard far too much about things that don't matter to them. Like what you breaking the rules around Partygate, you not doing enough about the cost of living. You know, what, what do you want them to hear about? You have no successes to date. The only things you claim are success are the vaccine rollout, fastest growing economy in the G7, which isn't actually true, I think, anymore. Um, amongst other things, like the statements you make are ridiculous and they don't help people who, when they go to the petrol stations, as you said, um, are cursing because they have to pay exorbitant amounts for um, fuel. That's right. It, it was. It was about you. That's right. And I think what people were hearing. But you so was, you do acknowledge that it's part. You are I, part of the problem. What I what I certainly think is that if you look at the by elections, uh, people were absolutely fed up about hearing about things that I'd stuffed up. Uh, hearing about things that I'd stuffed up. So who's blaming the media? You know, because who are the who are the ones reporting on the things Boris Johnson's made mistakes about? It's the media. So he's moaning at the media again. You know, this is a guy who blatantly made up things when he worked in the media to the point where he was fired. He lost his job over it. A guy who consistently lied in his role. And now he's getting mad that people are pointing out his mistakes in government as well. It's ridiculous. Uh, endless churn of, uh, of stuff. And what they wanted to hear was, well, yeah, yeah, but what is this guy, all, all that, what is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? I mean, if you had things that you were actually proposing, do you not think your Tory media wouldn't have run with it? Do you not think the Telegraph, the Express, the Sun wouldn't have run with anything you were actually proposing to help people? It's, it's ridiculous, honestly. Like, this man bemoaning the media for point, not pointing out his, you know, his, his help for the people because he isn't doing enough, evidently. Do you not think the Tory press wouldn't want to run thing, with any basic thing he was going to do to help out? It's just ridiculous what he's saying here. You know, he's mad at the media for pointing out the things that he stuffed up, of it, um, essentially. You know, what kind of politician bemoans the media for their own failings? A very weak and pathetic politician. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Support the channel on Patreon if you can. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.